Hey guys, this week instead of building the tall hoe, we're building some tools. Hey guys, so all the work I've been doing down this passenger side of the tall hoe here has resulted in an incredibly dirty shop. So that's why we've got the tall hoe pulled outside. Got to do a lot of cleaning in the shop. And that's going to take a lot of this week, I think. Going to do a little bit of reorganizing, a lot of cleaning. I've picked up some supplies to build some tools, and I want to upgrade the sheet metal brake a little bit more. See if we can't make that thing do the brakes that I need to do the rockers on the other side. I think we're getting there, but it's going to take just a little more work. So guys, please join me while we take a break from the Tahoe, and we get to work on the shop. If you like what you see or you're back for another episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help me build the channel. It allows me to produce more of the content you've come here to see. Thanks for all the support, guys. I appreciate it. Now let's get stuck into some tool building. This was the first big project I got accomplished. Uh, I didn't record any of it. I just wanted to uh, get it busted out. But I moved my counter out from the wall a little bit and installed this heavy countertop. buddy of mine is able to get me these super thick remnant sheets that have finished edges rounded over on them. So I just took three of those, notched them around in order to uh, fit everything, put a few tack welds at the back just to hold them together, I guess you can't see that one, a couple of tacks back there. And you can see here the edge of how it all goes together. So that should be a really nice upgrade for welding and for fabrication on that tabletop. So I'm really excited about that one. All of the travel all stuff is now up here. If you look in the back of some of my other videos, this is just a mess of random garbage. It still looks like that, I realize that, but now it's all travel all garbage. And then I also relocated my hardware and cleaned this and organized some extra tools and stuff. I do still have some cleaning to do, unfortunately. It's still a mess back there, but all that stuff really just needs to move up under the counter, so it really shouldn't take too long. But for now, I'm just gonna move on and get to building some of those tools I want. So since I made some of the changes to this thing, the next weakest point has proven to be these threaded locks that hold the top in place. I stripped the threads out of the back one pretty much completely. So next step, bought some new hardware, bought a spring I'm going to cut in half so that I can just use that spring to lift the piece. It'll make more sense when I get there. But for now, we're just going to try and rebuild another piece of this thing and see if we can make it just a little bit stronger. So the genius spring idea of putting it around the bolt isn't going to work. But I might have another idea.
so I guess it's pretty hard to tell, but I welded in those little rods and then tucked the springs around those rods. So there's a spring at the outside edge of each end of this thing now. And the whole purpose of that is that as I loosen those bolts, it will lift the top side of the tool, allowing me to slip the metal under there without a fight. getting better than what it's been we didn't get much line across here but everywhere we've got the line it looks like it's pretty consistent so just a little more work dialing in this maybe building one of these triangles up on top here to keep the bend out of the middle and we might have it tough enough to at least do the jobs I'm doing kind of seeming like that bolt does not actually fit that thread even though I tested it all before putting it together. That's ah, mildly aggravating. again. Yeah. 
I think this top plate actually sticks out just a little bit too far to round this all the way up. So I think I'm actually hanging up on that. Yeah? That's a pretty straight line that it's given me now. So I think I've got the strength in it to do this. I've got a whole different problem that we'll have to work out. <clears throat> this overhangs a little bit too far. And so it makes it pretty much impossible for this to come all the way up with any kind of metal. See how tight that is right there? <sighs> so I may need to make a few more changes because of that, but we're getting there. It's getting stronger, it's getting better. So this is getting there. Sweet! <laughs> Alright guys, so what we have here are the makings of a what they call a pipe anvil. This one I'm looking at 4 inch, oh, a little under 3 inch, and 1 and 3 quarter inch are the pipes I have. Just happens to be the scrap I could get my hands on for free from people I know. Uh, I've seen them made many different ways, there's lots of stuff on YouTube, but these are the parts I could get a hold of, so this is what I'm making. A pipe anvil is for putting smooth, consistent curves in sheet metal. Something like, say, doing the rockers I was doing earlier on the travel hall. So I can use this to really lean on it and press some curves into sheet metal as I'm going. Uh, I've been thinking about building one. I was finally able to get my hands on some uh, scrap to make one out of. I don't know if you can see, but this stuff is pretty burly. Here we go. So I just cut these little just pieces of scrap basically. And their job is just to sit in between on each end where I can weld in over them and then they'll just keep a small consistent gap between these where I can slip a piece of sheet metal down through it and then lean on it one way and it'll brace against the other pipe and then just depending on which size of bend I need I can choose a different pipe to get me that bend. Welding glasses, because I can't wear the helmet and the gas mask. I ground it off to use the pipe 180 degrees from where I did. So the part I ground is now up here. Oh, better do that. There's the main body of it welded together. I'll just kind of give an example of what it does. You slide your metal in between. And then you just have something to pry on to pull yourself a nice smooth curve.
This stuff was pretty snug on that sheet. So I'll use it for a while, but I may find out that I simply welded these slightly too close together. I thought my spacers were thick enough, but maybe they weren't. <laughs> uh, but I was able to get that sheet through it. So, you know, we'll just roll with it. And if I have to redo it and put a slightly thicker spacer in there, well, so be it. Anyway, the next step is uh, I need to build a stand for it of some kind for it to uh, sit on. So start figuring that out. Got a couple of big old chunks of some hefty 2 inch. Why 2 inch? Because that's what I could get some of. No particular reason. Got them marked out at 3 foot tall. I need to build the base now. So what I'm thinking is I will build two legs 3 feet tall. And then I'll cut something like, I don't know, 18 inches or whatever out of the remainder. And I will use that as the feet. And then I will probably just set this on top of the two legs and weld it on. But I'm not sure quite yet if that's how it's going to go together. So for now, just got some cutting to do. So we've just made a quick fish mouth there. The purpose of that is that with a little bit of grinding, this should fit in there pretty easy. So let's get some grinding done. Got it propped up on one side so it's basically level. And now we just need to try attaching the legs.
Here you see me standing and staring frustratedly as I've realized this thing has to come back apart. This is where the camera died, so you don't even get to see me cut it and weld it, and then cut it and weld it again. Well, I had to cut these apart and re-weld them a couple of times to really get them dialed into where I wanted, but... There she be. So hopefully that'll be a handy tool to have around, do a few things that I can't do now. Hard part is going to be finding it a home. See the sweet red triangles like I'm wearing clown makeup on my cheeks? Yeah, that's sunburn because I was wearing the face mask for breathing and the goggles for welding. Hey guys, so that's all the time we have for this week. I got some good work done on the sheet metal break even though we're just not quite there yet. I got that pipe anvil built, I got that countertop all sheeted in some heavy duty metal, and I did a little bit of cleaning and reorganizing while I was at it. So the shop makes a little bit more sense, things are more accessible. It was a good week, even without any progress on the Tahoe. So anyhow, this is where we're going to leave it for the week. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.